fault. No one knows what's going on here. Good morning from England guys, more precisely London, you can see it here, and what are we doing today? Easy, we're going to the Emirates right now and watch Arsenal against Manchester City. It's the number one title clash right now, surely the most important game of the Premier League season thus far. Arsenal are having the season of the decade and they are close to winning the Premier League, yes, but lately Man City have come closer and closer to them. So this game today, right here, right now, will decide it all. Will Arsenal bottle it once again and Man City take home their fifth Premier League title in six years or are the surprise gunners actually pull off the miracle we're going to find out right now together when a german football fan watches the biggest game in england whenever i go to another city to watch a football game i always try to book a hotel that's within walking distance of the stadium why because i kind of like to check out the surrounding areas of stadiums just like we did at anfield where the stadium was literally located in a living area a residential area i'm so damn hyped and i've also got a surprise for you at the stadium it's gonna be a special stadium book, something i've never ever done before see you there Here we are guys, the Emirates Stadium, never been here and we have been to another big English Premier League game this season, Liverpool against Man City at Anfield obviously was massive, but this one here could be an actual title decider, so for me it's even on another level, I'm so so excited, getting more and more hype for the game, how it actually plays out, I think Arsenal will win, for me it's a 2-1 Arsenal. Yeah, maybe that backfires, but I think Arsenal, yeah, I do trust them. And of course, also for the atmosphere, how the fans are going to be. I've had mixed reactions from you guys, how Arsenal fans are, if they're good, if they're bad. I want to experience myself right now and rate it. And it is my second time in London. First time we went to the Arsenal training center, interviewed the players. Now we go to the biggest Arsenal game of the season so far. Both of these crazy experiences were thanks to Ultimate Champions. That's also the special thing about this vlog. There is a community member who is going to be with me at the game today. He won this ticket in our community league on Ultimate Champions. That's the Fiago's Champs League. You give out crazy prizes there every single week. I'm gonna tell you later how it works. But first of all, I would say let's get into the stadium, get to our seats. I don't even know what seats we have, what view it is. I hope it's good. Maybe grab some food. Is there gonna be beer today? I don't even know. At Liverpool there was, but you couldn't take it to the stands. Anyway, let's check it all out and I'll see you in the stadium. This looks absolutely insane here with all those banners from all the Arsenal fan clubs in the world, I think. There's some from Argentina, Vietnam, Singapore, wherever. And they put them all on here. This is beautiful, man. I didn't even know Arsenal had this in the stadium. This is class. I love it. Here we have the Manchester City team bus guys coming in. Arsenal fans are not loving it. I've done quite a few stadium blocks now, but I've never ever taken one of you guys with me. So this is going to be a completely new experience for myself as well. And then instantly such a huge game. I can't wait, man. I don't even know where we have to get in, by the way. I'm just taking a tour around the stadium. Let's do that. A truly massive stadium, 60,000 seats. It's going to be all packed tonight, of course. I think it was very, very hard to get tickets. So appreciate Ultimate Champions for sorting myself and one community member, one of you guys, with a ticket. I only know this place from all the AFTV rants after Arsenal lost several games. <laughs> they always chilled here in front of the stadium as fans. Yo, Jay, this should be our entrance. I can't wait to see my seat. Will they even let me in with my camera? I hope so. <laughs> we made it, guys. We're inside the stadium. Here, there's even a concert behind us. Wow. Someone's playing a concert here. Someone's playing music. I love it. And food and drinks are also right here. I'm going to grab myself something and then get to our seats. This combo for 15 pounds, I'll say yes, man, scram. But you buy one beer, you get two, that's sweet. And one massive sausage with caramelized onions in a baguette with mustard as well for 15 pounds overall. I think that's a pretty solid value. The only thing that kind of sucks, obviously, you can't take the beer onto the stands in England. And as a German, that's disappointing. So we have to drink both our beers now before we get to our seats. But overall, I would give the stadium food and drink Solid. 9 out of 10. Value for money for 15 pounds. I expected way worse for a Premier League game. Bro, at the NBA game, 14 euros got you a small sip. For a few quid more here in England, you get this full menu, this full combo. I'm so satisfied. 9 out of 10. All right, lads. I'm very, very happy. I got some proper, not super overpriced stadium food. Finally again, and now it's time to get to a seat for row 11. It's very, very crazy and remarkable how many tourists there are. Like me. Like, there's so many people I spot here that are obviously from different parts of the world watching Arsenal. That shows the global reach of the Premier League. You don't have that to this extent in German games. Probably only really at Bayern and Dortmund, but that's that's pretty much it. Here we go, lads. And now it is time to get to our seats. We are on the upper tier, high in the stadium, going up the stairs. I have no idea where I am because there's nobody else. I don't know why. Am I in the wrong block? Let's find out, man. I'm so lost right now. Ah, uh, no, guys. Now that is right. 115 is our block. Let's get into the stadium. Let's go, guys.
we are at our seat, guys, and as you just saw the view, nobody's here yet, really. We're really early, but I would say the view is pretty, really sweet. I'm more and more hyped for this game, now that we also have a crazy view. Oh, there is so many different fan clubs of Arsenal all around the world, even Mia San Arsenal. Do you see that? That's a German fan club of Arsenal. Hey, they didn't have a good time when Bayern consistently thrashed them. <laughs> all right, lads, we are here now with... Alfie, how are you, man? Good to meet yeah, you. I'm great. He is the winner of the ticket in our Ultimate Champions League, Iago's Champs. And it's actually so crazy. He just told me how he lined up on a fantasy football game. And now we're sitting here together, bro. What did you do? You lined up Arsenal players, right? Yeah, I lined up a couple of Arsenal players. They kind of fucked me over, though. Yeah, they only drew. How did you still win those tickets, mate? I lined up some other players that really carried me. This guy from Bolton got me loads of points. Mad, bro. Yeah. That, that's a sick story, man. And he's just told me he's been following me and, and watching my since 2019, yeah. Corona Cup days, the OGs remember them. Bro, you are an actual OG, man. I, I appreciate that. Bro, now it's time, 30 minutes before kickoff, prediction for the game. You go first. I'm gonna say 2 0 win for the Arsenal. Gonna be optimistic this time. Optimistic. You're, you're an Arsenal fan, obviously. Yeah. And now I, I was just gonna say 2 1 Arsenal. I, I told you guys before I entered the stadium, but now Alfie told me because I always jinx everything, I have to predict Man City to win, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay, I'm gonna go for a draw then. Is that good for you? I'm gonna say 2 2 then. Look, Haaland is playing for them and we don't have Gabriel Jesus or Partey. So yeah, no Partey today. I mean, the last time I watched Haaland, it was Liverpool against City and City also lost that one. Every time I watch City, they lose. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go for a draw. 2-2 two, two for me. 2-0? Two, 2-2. Nil. Nil. Two, two. Let's go, guys. Stadium is full now. We're very close to kickoff. And the chants are beginning, that's what I love. And that's what I missed when I went to the NBA game. No chance. We're back in beautiful football. We have the chance. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Players are coming in right now. And it's actually so damn loud here. Arsenal, Arsenal. Alright guys, I've got Shaka, Saka and Saliba lined up in my Ultimate Champions team for this week and they all start! Now the, the Arsenal Anthem! Let's go! Game on! Oh, come on Shaka! Oh. It's fucking loud in here, man. First chance for Arsenal. These guys down there are some kind of new ultra group of Arsenal that have been formed this season, basically. And they're actually solid. They make some noise. Shaka. Oh! Pass! Bro, that was a fucking penalty. That was a fucking penalty for Arsenal. They're giving a free kick for Man City, man. Oh, fuck, was that not a penalty? Martinelli. Ah, Zinchenko. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, fucking hell. What a chance, man. Ketia with a header. Almost a one in for Arsenal. Come on. Come These on. guys are loving it. It's 1-0 for City. Fuck. Arsenal with a better team. Tomiyasu, one bad pass. And De Bruyne just lobbed it in. Easy for him, man. But they're going to come back. Atmosphere is still good, though. Come on, Martinelli. In the box. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. Oh! Bro, oh, it is so, so close. Oh, they're time wasting in the 13th minute. What is going on? Bro, Ederson just got a yellow card in the first half for time wasting. I wasn't lying to you. He really wastes time for every single goal kick. Now he can't do it anymore. And he's doing it again. Yeah? Yeah? No one knows what's going on here. Apparently it's a penalty for Arsenal, guys. A penalty. I didn't see what happened. I didn't see why. I just saw goal line clearance and then I didn't see what happened. But it's a penalty for Arsenal. It could be the equalizer before halftime. Saka's gonna take it. Come on. Saka against Ederson. Come on. Come on. Game, guys. 
All right, guys, it is half time. So far, this first half has been amazing. Both teams had crazy chances. I think the fact that Arsenal scored late in the first half and got that equalizer is going to be so vital for this game because had City just kept the lead, the second half might have been like them just defending that and not too much happening, you know. Now, City actually need that goal more than Arsenal. Arsenal are going to be happier with the draw than City. So it's going to be a very, very attacking game, I think. Oh, my God. Haaland just finessed the penalty there. There's no way there was a penalty. At first, I thought Haaland was fouling him, man. VAR, possible offside. Good position, man. Kevin De Bruyne. Ah, oh, Ramstein. Get out. Oh, goal line clearance, baby. Oh, fuck. Jack Grealish, man. Jack Grealish. 2 1 City. 20 minutes to go for Arsenal to come back. Come on. over guys these guys are loving life right now Arsenal lose one three to Man City but the fans keep singing they didn't play too bad they didn't play horrible I've actually done it again I have jinxed another football club I mean <laughs> I can't believe it, man. I lined up Shaka, Saka and Saliba on Ultimate Champions. I said they were going to win. I mean, I did change my prediction in order to not jinx them because Alfie said so. I said 2-2. And in the end, it was close to becoming a 2-2. But then City finished them off 3-1 and they show they have that killer instinct. They have that killer gen, at least in the Premier League. I think Arsenal will now bottle the Premier League. And it's not a shame. It just means that City are just too strong. Always get back into these title races. They've done it to Liverpool twice. They're going to do it to Arsenal this season, I think. But still, it was a great game. Honestly, we had so many chances the atmosphere I need to talk about the atmosphere because it was much better than what many of you guys have told me it wasn't a library at all it wasn't a that atmosphere I don't know if it's just this season because they're doing so well but it was a really really impressive atmosphere of course it's a responsive crowd you don't get 90 minutes of chance except for those 50 people that I filmed in black Th those were like the new ultras but overall it's similar to Anfield and all of England whatever happens in the game people are gonna react but it got really really loud in these moments I appreciate that I am impressed by the Arsenal fans I I think I would rate the atmosphere from what I expected to what I got. It's a solid 8 out of 10 for sure. But that was another beautiful football night. And that's what these fantasy football games make possible. Ultimate champions, you just line up 11 players plus 3 subs. It's completely free in my league. And you can actually win rewards like this. Real life experiences, once in a lifetime experiences. Alfie, the community member who we met, massive Arsenal fan. Never ever been to a Premier League game though. And this was his first time. Man, it makes me so happy to make these experiences possible for me and you, obviously. And that's that's just, that's the beauty of these games. In this game week, which includes the Arsenal City game that we just watched, by the way, the winner of my free-to-play League on Ultimate Champions, Viagos Champs, is getting a signed Arsenal shirt, yes. So make sure that you do keep playing. The first link in the description is the link to my free league. You get to pick three players, a free team, and line up 11 of them plus three subs every single week. For the basketball fans, they're even adding basketball Ultimate Champions very soon. But we're going to focus on the football game. The better those players you line up them perform in real life, the more points they get for your team, and the higher you rank in the leaderboard, and you might win a reward. Like tickets or a signed jersey. Ah, lads, back in the hotel and grabbing some sleep now. The four hours of sleep that I'll get before flying back to Germany. But it was worth it. It was worth it. And now it's your turn, guys. Which stadium do you want me to visit next? As always, send me all your suggestions in the comments. No matter which country, no matter which continent, we'll do it all step by step. I will go to bed now. See you in the next one. Peace.